happened and why. Tonight, many parents are spending the evening figuring out how to explain this awful tragedy. I've explained to my child that it's not targeted towards him, but it's in the whole United States and it can be bombed at any time. Bobby Heron is not sure what he's going to say to his son, nor do most parents. But for now, Heron is just glad his son is by his side. But you know, you want your children with you and, you know, they're safe with you. Some of the parents tell me even if the schools are not closed tomorrow, they will not allow their children to go to school. They say they're not trying to scare their children, but again, they just want to make sure they're safe. Shade Betterinois, WBAL 11 News. Throughout the day, there have been a number of closures in and around Baltimore City. We're going to go right now to City Hall Live, where the mayor is now talking with the media. The city of Washington, D.C. Is, is a tragedy that really um, is beyond our experience or vocabulary. And our prayers go out to, um, to the families and friends and the people of both of those cities, and, and especially to the emergency personnel who every day put themselves in harm's way. And in the instance uh, in New York, obviously, they've suffered some tremendous loss of emergency response um, uh, personnel. Um, one of the heartening things to see today is that even as shopping malls close and everything else close, that uh, Americans all over uh, the country and certainly in Baltimore are, are uh, standing in line at Red Cross centers. And that's a, that's a good thing. And the Red Cross asks people to call 1-800-HELP-NOW. And if you can't give blood today, don't give up and think that it's not needed. You should come back on the day that you're given the appointment, and they've urged us to ask you to call 1-800-HELP-NOW. People can donate. Uh, we don't have a whole lot more to report, um, but I'll, I'll turn it over to Commissioner Norris, and you all may want to ask us questions nonetheless. We don't owe a whole lot more than we had before. Um, we have extra, obviously, everyone who is available in the Baltimore Police Department is working right now. Um, driven around the city. We have, as you see, there's certain sites that have been secured uh, by the police department. We have no additional information from this morning. Uh, we've offered the New York City Police any assistance that they may require, but uh, understandable. You were listening live to a news conference being held jointly by the mayor and also the police commissioner, bringing us pretty much up to date as far as what's happening in and around Baltimore City. You heard the mayor referring to the Red Cross and their blood donation. It's been amazing. People have been lining up all day. Everyone just seems to want to help in whatever way they can. And of course, giving blood is essential and much needed right now. And it's pretty routine for a lot of people. At White Marsh, the line has been there all day. Rebecca Mesa is there this evening. There was one woman you were speaking with who's waited all day. Has she gotten through yet? Is she actually gotten in the door to make the donation? I think she has because I haven't seen her here right now. But I tell you, talk about patience. Leah here has been waiting patiently for her mother and her sister to donate blood since before one o'clock today. This gentleman came all the way from Silver Spring. Is that right? So all the way from Silver Spring. And a lot of us have our own special reasons for being here to donate blood. Now, Kelly, you had a particularly poignant reason, I thought. You said, uh, why, why did you come down to, to donate? Well, we're at the Inner Harbor, and we all realized at work that it could Thanks, just as please. easily have been us, um, that this could have happened to. I, we, we work two blocks from the Trade Center in Baltimore, downtown Baltimore, and we just realized, you know, it could have been any city, any place. How about you, ma'am? Why did you come down to donate blood? Uh, I, I've always donated, but I just live around the corner. It's just something I just wanted to come and do, you know, just to help whoever I could help, families, you know. It's just something I just wanted to do. <laughs> well, thank you. I know they appreciate the help here at the Red Cross, and they say that even though there are a lot of people who are here today, this need for blood is not going to end. It's going to go on for weeks and weeks to come. Reporting live from White Marsh, Rebecca Mesa, WBAL 11 News. We want